we're collecting from the memorial. We are looking for items that are uh, permanent, that are lasting, and that are meaningful. This is probably the most significant event to happen in the history of Virginia Beach. So we want to make sure it's fully documented. We are starting on the far right and we'll go victim by victim, but we want to make sure we gather everything that has been placed around each cross and not get anything mixed up. We're going to photograph the items and provide a flash drive to each family so that they can look through it at their own pace and privacy um, and select the items they want to keep. And then the rest of the items, the city is going to keep through the history museums and we will provide stewardship of them. We are keeping things that are customized to the individual. Um, we're keeping things that are very personal, uh, things like religious items, things that have people's names on them. We tend not to keep things that are wet or moldy. For example, there are stuffed animals that have gotten wet just because it's so humid out. We don't really have a plan long term. Right now we're really just focused on the healing process and getting the items that the families want to them, including the crosses. And then we want to make sure that everything is clean and stored properly so that in the future, whether we want to have a memorial that's permanent, um, that involves these, or a museum exhibit or something like that, these will be available to us. We see this event as something that is historic in nature, and so we want to make sure that we provide as much evidence about it um, to historians in the future.